Hey y'all, welcome to Toro Rosa. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Rosa Linda, and today I'll be sharing with you some tips that I have on how to grow your curly hair. So, I don't know if you guys saw the video that I made on my hair transformation, and if you guys haven't, go check it out. For those of you who saw it, you guys know that my hair used to be horrible, like it used to be curly and very straight at the end. It was very damaged because I used to straighten it every two weeks. So I did a lot of research and I tried a lot, a lot, a lot of things and products and everything like that. So today I'll be sharing with you guys some of those things that I tried that worked out for me. Many of you may know that the first thing that you guys have to stop is flat ironing your hair, applying any heat. Any heat to your hair is bad, give you lots of split ends and just damage your hair. Check your shampoo and check your conditioner. Okay, so for example, you have to look in your ingredients and see all the things that it has. Now, if it has a lot of different oils, like coconut oil, um, organ oil, etc. Those products are good. The ones that are not is any product that has sulfate in it. So if it has sulfate, it's really bad for your hair. And what it does, it just dries up your hair. And that's what we don't need because our hair is already dry as it is. So we don't need that. We don't need it. We still need the, our natural oils in our hair. So um, yeah, you're gonna check on your ingredients. And on here, I like this one because it says, it says no sulfates, no parabens, no flakes, no mineral oil, no animal testing, no petroleum. So right here, you guys can see, but right here. So I know now that this is really good. So make sure that your conditioner and your shampoo is sulfate free. Any product that you're gonna use in your hair, make sure it's sulfate free and it has at least one type of oil. I recommend the black castor oil. It's really good for your hair or some type of coconut oil. Massage it into your scalp really good and apply it to your ends of your hair. I do it when my hair is dry. So after I wash it and my hair is fully dried, that's when I go in with my oil and I massage it into my scalp and in the ends of my hair. Trimming your hair is essential. And I know that when you guys are starting, you know the transformation, you don't wanna cut all your hair off, but it's the best thing because if, you, if all this is damaged, and you just cut to here, all those split ends are gonna just keep splitting. So you might as well just cut off the majority of the damaged part, like 90% of the damaged part because it's gonna be worth it at the end. It really will be worth it at the end. Cause if not, you're just gonna keep cutting, 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 and you might just not see progress. So don't go cutting now every two weeks every month no cut trim after you did your big chop trim every three months just a little bit you know not a big old chunk just a little bit where it's like oh my god i could see a couple split ends you know let me trim that part okay a trim not a cut so another thing that you would need to do is give your hair treatment so I know in the store there are some that are like the deep mask for your hair, blah, 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 blah. You don't really need to buy those. Everything you need is almost at your fridge. You could either grab up some avocado, some mayo, some coconut oil, some olive oil, eggs, and you could do yourself a great hair mask, okay? So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieved my hair to look this moisturized with um, coconut milk, a banana, <laughs> and olive oil, okay? Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys now how I mix the treatment and how I apply it in my hair. There's different ways that you can do this treatment, like there's, you could do olive oil and egg with vitamin E, or you could do like the coconut milk, um, 
olive oil and the vitamin E and no egg or you could do the banana by itself and all of them are like really good or you could also do mayo and avocado there's different ways that you can do it and they're all really good for your hair today I'll be using the banana one banana olive oil and coconut milk so you will also need a shower cap a comb and a hair tie also a bowl and a fork so here so first i am going to put the banana all of it of course all of the banana i'm going to put it in pieces like so and then i'm going to start squishing it after i don't know if you guys can see it good there you go so after it's like that, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. Oh, there you go. A little bit of coconut milk. And I'm gonna keep going. So now look at the, the texture. To pour in some oil. Pour in a little bit more. Okay. Um. Okay. So this is how it looks now. Also, this you can do it in um. A blender right that's what it's called but if you don't want to it's fine you don't have to I mean I like to do it like this okay so yeah once it looks like this now it's ready to go on your hair okay now so this is ready to put in my hair yeah. so I'm gonna put my hair into four sections this is what my hair looks like. It's really dry. It's a week old. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in my hair, all of it. I'm gonna put it in four sections, put it all, put it all in the roots, and then what's what's left over of it, you're gonna put it in the ends. You want to do this once a week, every time before you wash your hair. You're gonna want to do this. Okay guys, so now I just got done putting everything in my hair. So now I am going to massage it in. This is how it looks like. You see little bits of banana in there. And I'm gonna massage my hair. Now, once you massage for your two minutes, you're gonna grab your hair tie. And I'm gonna put it into a bun at the top. Just like that. You. And then you're gonna put your shower cap. I like to use a plastic bag better because I feel like it grabs everything. So let me go ahead and grab that plastic bag. So with your plastic bag, I just rip it in the middle. I go like so. With the rip in the middle, I do a knot. Yes, sir. Because you got to make sure you get that heat in the hair. You feel me? So it can really penetrate. Yes. Just go to your local Walmart <laughs> and get that bag. I will see you guys back in 30 minutes. Show you how my hair looks. Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes. And I'm gonna take this off. So I'll show you guys. Oh yes. I feel that. It definitely is moisturized. So and this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go get in the shower, wash my hair, 
you know, put all my products in and then I'll show you guys the final results. If you guys want to see how I wash my hair and all that, I have a video on my hair routine. So you guys could go watch that. Okay, and this was the final product. So you guys can see how my hair is so much more, so much more moisturized. I recommend a wide tooth comb, guys. A wide tooth comb. I have did I have had this comb for so long. Let me tell you something. I know that sometimes they say that it's better to use your fingers, but you, I feel I just feel like your fingers don't do like doesn't detangle like how I want it detangled. So I have to use comb. But what I recommend is that the only time that you detangle your hair is when you're gonna wash your hair. When it's fully wet and you, you're gonna wash your hair. So that's the time that I recommend. If not, then I recommend that you have your hair damp and you use some type of hair lotion or hair moisturizer. I've been using this one for years and it's really good because it really moisturizes your hair really good. It's the olive oil moisturizer hair lotion and it's infused with castor oil for strength. It adds shine and helps prevent breakage. So, here you go. This is the one I use. Y'all. Okay, here it is. So, that's the one that I use. So, anytime you're going to do like a sleek bag or whatever, use this. Do not use a brush also that has some hard bristles. Just use a smooth brush and just let it work, okay? Also, when you're gonna do those type of hairstyles, make sure you use a, a hair tie like this one, not the ones that have the silver, the silver, um, the silver part to it because that pulls your hair. Just a nice, simple one like this one. It's really like flexible. I use the big ones because my hair is thick when it's dry, so I have to have one like this. Now, when you wash your hair, you do not want to use a towel, honey. You do not want to use a towel. That's the worst thing you're going to do for your hair. You do not want to use a towel, pull it up, and throw it up here. No, that's a big no, no. You're going to use one of these. It's called a microfiber towel. Okay, it has a little button right here, and it has a clip at the bottom. So when you're done, put your hair forward, wrap it up softly and put this like th like so so if you guys saw my hair routine you guys will see how I use this it's important also that when you're gonna go to sleep your hair is nice and protected and for that you would need a satin cap because it protects your curls and it does not soak up the oils that are in your hair now if you do not want to wear a cap then that's fine you could get um, a satin pillowcase which is also really good if you sleep with pillows but I don't sleep with pillows so I don't need a satin pillowcase so those were the tips that I had for this video guys um if you guys have any questions on anything uh, regarding my hair feel free to leave it down in the comments below these were the major like these are like the big things that you guys need to know all in one video <laughs> and yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and see y'all next time bye